Welcome to the Savion Back Office Overview. In this video, we're going to walk you through the Savion Members Back Office Portal and show you all the different functionality and features that are available to you as a Savion affiliate and member. First thing you're going to do is log into your website at savion.net and click on the login button and enter in your username and passcode. This will bring you to the back office members portal and you'll see a lot of different tabs across the menu bar on the top as well as an update uh, rotational advertising uh, platform on the center part of the page. And This is where you can look at different events and activities that are taking place within Savion uh, with updates posted on a weekly basis. The first tab from the left to the right we're going to look at is the profile tab. Underneath the profile tab you have the members profile and you now have a brand new area called the Circa profile for members and affiliates in the United States and the U.S. territories uh, covered with the Circa card. That profile is there for information regarding the use of your Circa black card, pay card used for receiving your cashback commissions as well as your e-wallet commissions. Let's take a look first at the member profile. The member profile brings you back to this page here where there's a lot of fields and information that you uh, will enter in about yourself uh, for your Savion account. There's also some important uh, other information I'll be sure to point out as we go through it. The first area is your personal information uh, including your sponsor's name, their email, and their contact phone number. So you know how to reach your upline sponsor when you have a question or need assistance with something regarding your Savion business. They would be the first to call. The next area is your personal information. You'll fill out your first last name cell phone number. Select a cell phone carrier via the drop down menu and list your email address. You can opt out of receiving emails or text messages if you'd like on this page. On the bottom of the page on the uh, far bottom left you'll see our policy uh, regarding transfers etc and our pol full policies and procedures are listed under the link policies and procedures. Be sure to read through them very carefully uh, and have a good understanding of them so that you know how to handle uh, different situations and uh, uh, issues that may arise in your Savion business in the future if need be. In the center part of the page you're going to see your address information. Then you're going to see a very important part called the next RSM renewal date. If you are renewing with an RSM pass, you'll actually enter in that information in the open box. Click on the renew with pass. You can also renew in the US at this time with a credit card to the Circa uh, platform. And that is also uh, an option. Um, your cancel RSM membership button is on the bottom at any given time. Um, if you want to cancel, it'll tell you the suggested date to cancel by to avoid any future rebilling or, or renewals of your membership. You always want to go by the rule of thumb of three business days ahead of your next scheduled renewal. So uh, 821 uh, is the day before your scheduled renewal, but I would even go a couple days further just to give yourself a little extra insurance if you are sure to want to cancel with no extra renewal payments. Then we have your username for your website, uh, username for your login rather, of how you'll log into your Savion account, and your password that you can change um, regularly if you'd like. Your Savion.net site address is your username for your website promotion. So if you're going to promote your link uh, to anybody to, to join Savion, you can change that information to whatever name you'd like uh, for your uh, website. Then we have the placement options. Um, I would recommend that you leave the placement options to the default of how it's set when you come into Savion. It will be basically defaulted to the team that you sponsored with. So whoever sponsored you into Savion, whatever team that they are building presently is a team that they put you on. That's the team that I would just let it stay as the default. And once you have placed your first two under that leg, you can go ahead and come back into this profile and flip it over to the opposite team. In this case it would be team one. Capture page setup is a link for you to use the free capture page system set up with Savion. Um, and we'll get into more detail on this tour with that here in just a little bit. But you can directly access that right through the profile. Be sure to always hit the save button when you're finished making any changes of any information 
when you leave your profile. Next thing we're going to look at is the circuit profile. Circuit profile again only applies to people in the US currently as we are going to be rolling out a global pay card here for our international members in the month of August. But currently um, US members have access to a circuit card. And uh, we, with this particular example with a new sign up here, uh, there's no circuit card or enrollment on file. Uh, you can enroll for the new circuit card uh, with an, through your e-wallet or an RSM wallet when you uh, either uh, redeem for commissions or cash back um, and also uh, people that have been in can renew and apply for their uh, circuit card as well once you get your circuit card number you'll be taking that number and actually putting it into the white space there in this profile and hit continue there is a complete circuit card train uh, more detailed in our back office and at our savionvideos.com the next tab on the menu bar moving to the right is the members portal in the members portal area you're going to notice a retail shopping membership the RSM tracker the instant savings benefit and also the global travel membership we're going to kind of break it down one at a time here and look at the retail shopping membership first in the retail shopping membership uh, you're going to be looking at adding your stores into the system so that you can receive your cash back as a member of Savion. You'll be registering up to 10 what we call non-MAP stores. Uh, MAP is a separate uh, membership program uh, merchant advertising platform where you'll be able to add 10 other stores in that segment. But right now we're talking about your 10 favorite stores. This could include your favorite grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, uh, clothing stores, other retail shopping stores available in your area that qualify to be a part of the, of the RSM membership. And you have a, a seven day window here when you join Savion to go ahead and submit these stores. Uh, anything after seven days are locked in until your next redemption and that's when you'll be able to open up your portal and change your stores again. So you're going to fill out some information here, the store name, address, city, the state, the country, the zip code. Um, you'll click the online box here if it is an online store. And uh, and then if if you're in another country like the UK or Australia or any other country outside the U.S. where um, other countries report different information on the receipts, if the name on the receipt is different than the actual uh, address or the, the store location, you can list both pieces of information list what's on the receipt that they give you but also list the name of the store address that uh, um, is given to you and uh, the city province and all that and then you click on the add store button it's going to give you this pop-up that says uh, is your information correct click on OK and that's going to go ahead and get you into the next store now if you want an online store like walmart.com uh, you put in Walmart you hit online that'll be a dot com entry and then it will list it as a walmart.com okay so internet stores you're gonna put the name of the store like target hit online for target.com or best buy hit online for best buy.com etc remember the rule is for online stores they must have an equivalent brick and mortar chain of stores to go with it um, again you can register these stores and uh, you'll uh, add keep adding stores until you have your 10 stores listed on file when you get to the point where you have your 10 the add store button is grayed out it will not allow you to add any more stores into the system so that tells you that you have added your 10 at that moment um, you can hit the edit button if you like and that will allow you to come in here and if you want to you know edit or delete some of those entries if you made a mistake you do have a window there to make edits and changes uh, and you can do that at, during that uh, seven day window and again just hit OK if you want to make any changes and uh, next we're going to start adding those map stores that we talked about now you can add your map stores on the fly which means you don't have to do it all at once the non map stores that we just talked about we do recommend that you set all ten stores at one time so because if you only set three or four and you go beyond your seven day window you're you're going to be basically locked into those three or four until your first renewal so you'll be limiting your opportunity to get your cash back so we do recommend that you do think out your 10 favorite stores right up front for that portion of uh, the membership on this portion on the map it's a little bit more flexible and you can add them on the fly uh, which means that as you're out shopping and you see you know you go to a place that you really like and you want to maybe get 20% cash back 
um, you can actually uh, add them as a map store if you can uh, invite them to join as a map business or if you know they're a map store because you looked in your Savion app or online in the back office under map identified them as a map store you went there and shopped there and you said hey I really like this place I want to add them as a map store for the future you can do that on the fly you don't have to wait so there's a little more flexibility under the submission of map stores let's go ahead and take a look at it a little further here's that drop down menu that's continuing to grow and grow and grow uh, globally now we will be uh, upgrading and changing this reporting feature as we go through as we get more and more map stores added we'll start to break it down by geo targeted locations you know by uh, country by zip code by city state um, that type of thing but right now we're just compiling and building this list out to get it over um, a few thousand and then we'll start to break it down into more detailed searches so that you can find them quite readily um, so that is our directory and it keeps growing and expanding and then uh, when you find one you select on it and you'll hit uh, add store and it's going to list that one out um, as a map store added and again you'll do that up to the 10 allowed map stores and so now you have 10 favorite stores and you have 10 map stores that's a total of 20 available and just like before when it's maxed out it's going to gray out that button um, so that they will not allow you to add any more and if you want to delete any of them again you have some functionality to do so make edits and changes and so forth if you want to go back you'll hit uh, return to the members page now further down the page on the members profile or uh, on the members portal under the retail shopping membership it's going to ask you to submit some additional information that you need to have recorded for your membership to, to function and that is you must identify a method of payment that you'll be using primarily with your card and uh, as far as shopping with the membership so these are the options available presently uh, Visa MasterCard debit Visa or MasterCard American Express Discover um, for other countries they have different cards available there ATH card Union Pay Canon De Canada debit card whatever option that you're working with uh, select that and then understand that you'll have to enter three or four digits of the card that is displayed on the receipt in the US it's primarily the last four digits but it can be differently in other countries and then you'll be answering some other questions about uh, some market research questions okay um, so again you're gonna punch in the last four digits and uh, then it's gonna ask you some market research like your home zip code family size annual income uh, preferred uh, name brand or store brand question and then an online signature uh, signifying agreements to the policy procedures that you should have read along with the terms and conditions on Savion's cashback program guidelines you type it in right there you hit submit and then you are going to be completing this section okay and when you get the congratulation page here as of 8-1 you've now registered the following stores now map stores and then your next update is seven days after your next redemption is submitted so those are locked in until you do your first cashback redemption then you can make a change of your card information you can change of your store information and so forth but um, and if you make a mistake and something gets you locked out and you can't change your storage you can always call support and request a reset but it will reset your whole cycle so you'll want to know all uh, the information about that when you talk to support but uh, if you really get in a bind you can ask for a reset by uh, contacting our Savion support if in the case uh, during your membership you ever have your credit card lost or stolen and you need to change out that information there is a tab in this uh, members portal uh, section farther down the page once again where you can click on the lost or stolen credit card and it will uh, offer you that chance to swap out that information again um, if you have a question about um, if certain things are covered underneath the membership you can click on this link and it will give you our general guidelines for the RSM membership of whether or not you should consider submitting that receipt or not so uh, everything is sort of outlined there for you as far as uh, guidelines that you should uh, use to follow and again they are guidelines if you uh, really need specific uh, more inf detailed information uh, you can again send a, a request to uh, Savion support okay here are some simple uh, just policies and rules regarding uh, the recording of your receipts and the redemption of, of cash back make sure you read through that information and then toward the bottom section here you're going to see that we're going to get into the literal recording and redemption process of uh, your receipts and, and cash back let's take a look at the record uh, or delete of the week's receipts button first under the record feature here uh, you're going to again choose some of those stores uh, that you're submitting receipts from in the drop down menu 
and uh, then you'll basically uh, enter in the date on the drop down menu for that week. Now remember, everything reports on a weekly basis with the RSM membership from Sunday 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's New York time all the way through Saturday 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wherever you are in the world watching this video, make sure you adjust your time frame into New York Standard Time. So if you're three hours ahead, six hours ahead, 12 hours ahead, you know, whatever uh, time frame you're in, or if you're in mountain time or central time or Pacific time or Alaska time or, you know, uh, just make sure you adjust your time frame to New York Eastern Standard Time at uh, from 12.01 a.m. Sunday from 11.59 p.m. Eastern New York time. Uh, when you enter in your receipt information, please do not add the, the tax, just the subtotal figure. And if you need to do a currency conversion, if you're international and your country operates in a currency outside of the dollar, you can click on that link. It'll bring you to a currency converting um, feature to allow you to make the change over to dollars. Okay, And uh, that would look like this. So you can go ahead and change over uh, euros or yuan or um, uh, any other currency that you may be using into the U.S. dollar and enter in those dollar amounts in U.S. dollars. And again, uh, when you have entered in a receipt successfully, it will list it down here and show you that store, the amount, and so forth. And um, if you want to delete that because you put the wrong amount in there or something like that, you can delete it and you can re redo that whole transaction again. Now this will show you your receipt entry recorded for the week, uh, total dollar amount for the period. So you can see it will accumulate that as every week goes by. Uh, credits received since last redemption, whatever that last one was. Um, and then you've got uh, your running total here. So this is your RSM account wallet. Your cashback entries are going to be posted here until you reach the minimum 125, which is when you enter the redemption button will light up. So this is going to be darkened out, and you won't be able to click on it or, or open it until your account balance shows a minimum of 125. When it shows minimum 125, which is your uh, first redemption amount available, this will light up and it will allow you to click it, and that will um, then transfer in the U.S. to your circuit card. Okay, if you're international uh, at the present time, you have access to this uh, when it lights up for a pass through our pass pay system, which you can you know redeem for passes for new signups for renewals uh, for many different things, and of course you're able to um, use those passes to generate. Um, new member sales which will cash you out of your e-wallet uh, with those passes and so forth but we do have a brand new global pay card system being introduced here in the month of August that will be your uh, redemption option here conveniently uh, your main convenience option will be that global card and that will be effective going into September so uh, just follow the simple instructions on the bottom all redemption hours are 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time Monday through Friday uh, members can redeem cash back from 125 to 250 once every 30 days. First redemption is 125, and passes can be redeemed at any time. Okay, now we've uh, just covered the retail shopping membership under the members portal. We're moving on now to the uh, RSM tracker. Uh, this tracker is not going to show a whole lot of information because uh, there's no redemption in process right now. This is a brand new sign up. But if you did have a, re a redemption process, it's going to highlight uh, about seven or eight more options here of detailed information with dates and information that will help you track um, the progress of that redemption from being submitted, being verified, and being sent uh, for payment so that you can get your access to your cash back or your e-wallet commission. But everything can be tracked under this redemption tracking feature. The instant savings benefit is another value-added member benefit for both members of our RSM membership and our global travel membership and um, all you have to do is first register yourself with the ISB registration page that'll be the first step you want to click on that you know save registration and once you have filled in that information you'll get a confirmation screen that says uh, your activation has been saved allow a few minutes for your link to become active then you'll return and then it'll bring you up here to the portal. So this is the ISB portal. Once you're registered, it's got your name at the top. They have a separate toll-free customer service department just for the ISB benefits. Now uh, this is a third-party vendor partnership that we have uh, with uh, this platform. So they provide their own customer support. Any questions that you have about any of the offers, if if one ever worked or you know, you had trouble with it at a store, you'll reference their toll-free support on those types of uh, issues. 
but there's tons and tons of uh, value in this membership. This is designed to help save money on a day-to-day -day basis while you're building up your cash back wallet and your e-wallet for redemptions and so forth. You can be getting daily savings with these special offers. Now, this is something that uh, it's available online, or you can even now, uh, when the Savion app is fully um, you know, turned on with all the functionality, you'll have access to the ISB benefits right through your phone. And again, you can just simply find locations, find restaurants, do a search. You can look at uh, whatever is available in a certain city or postcode. Um, so if you want to you know, check out a zip code near you, um, if you're traveling, just put in the name of the city. It'll pull up all the offers available. And there's different categories. There's automotive, there's car rentals, there's travel, there's cruises, hotel stays, dining, golf, hotels, as I said, movies, entertainment, uh, even grocery coupons. A lot of great stuff in here, guys. Over 300,000 marketing partners. It's a great, great benefit. I mean, for example, if you just type in your zip code, it'll uh, pop up some offers right away. Here's my zip code where I live in Minnesota. And uh, here it shows there's 612 deals across 372 brands. And you can see there's a lot of great offers here. And this is just one page. Obviously, there's uh, about... Uh, many many different pages of uh, offers available it would take a long time to show you all of them but there's many many good ones believe me lots of good buy one get one offers um, places that I go to all the time but um, go ahead and, and if you're traveling even if you're not in your home area even if you travel for vacation or you go somewhere to visit family and you want to you know look at restaurants or hotels just punch in uh, the zip code wherever you're at and it'll pull up all the offers available so this is a great Members portal added value can save you. The average family saves about fifty dollars a month, six hundred dollars a year with this. But now I predict when the new mobile app comes out with access to these rights to your phone, you could easily double that on a monthly basis. This by itself could really help you cover your Savion membership all by itself. Now we're going to look at the final piece here under the members portal, the global travel membership. This is our travel membership program. Um, you can link off to this and uh, learn more about this specifically at SavionVideos.com. Also, our Tuesday night webinar presentations we do designate to the GTM if you want to learn more about that. This is primarily for people that do travel a lot already, maybe for business or if you're a retiree and you're doing a lot of leisurely travel, maybe doing two or three cruises a year, you know, um, or if you just want to travel more, you should maybe take a look at this. It also has some entertainment coverage as well in the membership and again it's 125 every 28 days just like the RSM program. Uh, the e-wallet area is uh, this is where you're going to get paid so this is a really important screen right here to understand as you are earning commissions as an affiliate with Savion meaning that you have uh, uh, sold three memberships of our Savion membership program the RSM, the GTM or the MAP you'll be qualified as an affiliate generating $5 a day income and that's going to start to post as credits here on a daily basis 24 7 okay every day seven days a week uh, payments will post into your account at 12:01 a.m. Eastern time and, and just thereafter uh, and then of course you can redeem Monday through Friday as it says here during banking hours 9 to 9 Monday through Friday is your redemption opportunities okay so uh, as we uh, take a look at this here, you'll see there's a, a little reporting feature here. You can look up to the last seven days and, and maybe up to the last 30 days, and you can display transactions, etc. A uh, very important part up here at the top, it says what cycle you are currently in. Um, the RSM cycle presently is from this date to this date. Okay, so you'll know exactly where you're at. And again, this is darkened out. You can see redeem for payment cert card because there's no commissions there to post, so it's not going to allow you to click on anything right there. Okay, so there is your uh, there's uh, information updating on the cycle, your balances, and again, if you uh, have 125 in your account, and uh, you're not uh, after your for cash back once you're verified, if you want to go ahead and redeem for a pass, it will allow you to redeem for passes. These are all the different passes that you can redeem for. If you want for cash sent to your account uh, in the U.S. and ultimately here globally at the, in September when your card's available, you wait another 30 days for that payment to be submitted and uh, those those for cash back uh, for the other e-wallet commissions uh, your your payments are uh, five business days are issued to your card but for cash back it's 30 days thereafter after you're verified and you'll be able to redeem to that okay and you can see here uh, oops let me go back here one screen uh, this is a little example of the circle black card that you would receive as a brand new member here in the US and um, those are where the payments are being posted here in the US now we'll have another card here for the global community that is going to be rolling out in August and again available first part of September 
increments of 125, by the way, for those redemptions. Okay, now we're under the reporting tab here on the uh, back office here of Savvy on the members portal, members area. Uh, you're going to see there's a lot of different reports here. We're not going to go in details over all these, but I'll make a quick mention. You'll start with the genealogy tab. Genealogy is basically a, a graphical viewer of your uh, customer member organization, and you'll be able to track and place people into that organization effectively to get paid. It does track all your sales counters and everything, how many active personals you have, and so forth. So it's a very useful tool if you're going to be building Savion as a business and earning income. Next one is team enrollments. This will show you how many new members have joined your team uh, today, and you can do a reporting up to the last seven days on that one, so it shows you exactly how many new people have joined your team. Uh, the next one is team GTM upgrades. Uh, you'll be able to see how many members upgraded to the GTM membership or added that membership. Then we have ISB activations, as I showed you before. Everybody activates in that who wants to use it, and you'll see how many people are actually activating in the ISB. Team ranks will show you exactly where people are in rank level in your organization from the founder level all the way up to the presidential ambassador level. So it's great to see the growth of people reaching different ranks in your company, in your organization, and you can track all that through the team ranks tab. Team canceled active. This is where you're going to track members who have canceled but are still finishing their 28-day period. Now, when people hit the cancel button, it still stays active until their membership runs out. Uh, so that's a team canceled active listing. Somebody who's canceled and has gone now inactive or has a lapsed membership. Excuse me. Let's go back here. Um, the canceled inactive is the one where uh, they have canceled and they are no longer paying their membership. Their membership has run out. Okay. It looks like we jumped ahead here to team lapsed memberships. Jumped over that one. But uh, in the team lapsed membership area, this is uh, where members have gone beyond their 28-day membership period and they have not made a renewal payment yet. Um, so it will at that point go into a lap status and they will need to get a renewal pass or make a renewal through their credit card uh, option if available. Next we have our team check return. Uh, this is where basically your uh, members of the US market uh, who are prior to uh, Savion uh, using uh, the circuit card or paying with checks may have had a check return payment uh, when we had our Genie Pay system and uh, if anybody had a check returned or close account close type of situation uh, it would report in here and that uh, is what that's reporting It's based upon our past check system that we use uh, before our circa credit card option okay moving right along here to the next tab here the personals area this is where you'll find all your contact info and sign up information for people that you personally enrolled into Savion uh, currently there are no member sponsors so it does not list anything but that's where your information would be under the past category this is where you can operate the past pay system that's with Savion uh, it is our main primary uh, payment program that uh, people are using all over the world. This is where you can get passes to enroll new members, uh, to do membership renewals, reinstatements uh, for both uh, for the RSM, the GTM, and the MAP products. Um, there is a description on this page of each pass and what it specifically is used for. Be sure to read it very carefully. Uh, we do not do exchanges on passes. However, they are good for up to 12 months. Um, and we do have a, uh, there is a member exchange for passes called Savion Exchange on Facebook. You can look it up. Uh, be invited to join that page if you like. If you ever need to exchange a pass, there is a member to member pass system exchange uh, set up by other members uh, that's available for you. But uh, typically, uh, you know, you just want to pick the right pass when you get started and read the descriptions and make sure and ask your upline too before you make a purchase on any pass. Make sure you have the right one. And again, um, any passes that you redeem are going to appear on this page, and you'll be assigned a code for every pass that you purchase. Those codes is where you're going to uh, enter in the code upon whether it's a sign-up, enrollment, reinstatement, renewal, whatever it might be. Now, uh, whatever the code is for, you're going to enter in the code when requested, and then it will show the code has been used in this area. Now, no passes have been used on this screen, so it doesn't show it, but it would show right here. If you ever want to look up to see if a code actually has been used or not, if somebody gave you a code, your upline gave you a code, and you want to make sure it's good, you can enter that code in this white box, click on the lookup, and it will tell you whether it's been used or not. So uh, just remember, again, pass have a 12-month expiration, so if you accidentally made the wrong purchase on a pass, you do have up to 12 months to use it or sell it to somebody else in your team who might use it later on. 
Next, we're on the marketing tab. This is where you find a lot of useful marketing information, such as our marketing tools, capture page, the training video, support events, companies, and updates. Let's look at the tools first. This is where you're going to find copies of our PowerPoint presentations and affiliate approved logos, etc. A lot of great stuff in here. Um, anytime you're going to do any uh, marketing with the logo, you know, whether it's on a blog or whether you're going to put on an advertisement or some kind of flyer banner, if you want to display the Savion logo anytime, it must always, always, always be this logo in this back office that says independent affiliate. Uh, that is only the only allowed and accepted uh, logo uh, that you can use for any type of marketing promotion to come. You must have that this logo right here under the marketing tools area. The next area is the capture page and leads area. This is where you're going to set up a basic lead capture page to promote Savion. There is no cost for this system. Uh, there's uh, some basic options here that you can look at. Uh, if you want to put a video in there from YouTube for yourself personally, you can embed a YouTube and add that as an option. There is some basic autoresponders here, uh, autoresponse messages that will go out to people that enroll in your capture page up to 72 hours worth, so about three or four days worth. Um, and then if you have any leads captured, it will list them here. So uh, if anybody fills out that capture page, request more information or call back, it'll list all their information back here. But again, brand new person here just joined. No uh, no capture page, capture page leads set up just yet. And we do have a complete video training on the capture page system all by itself. That's why I'm just scanning through it quickly. Uh, you can go ahead and watch that under the video training library in the back office under capture page. And this is what it looks like. Um, here's a company video explaining the membership. There's some basic fields they fill out, and when they do that, it's going to post that lead in that back office area as we talked about. Here's the training video area. Very important. You need to know this. Very, very important. Marketing training video. Make sure you go here and uh, that you recommend that all of your new people join Savion come to training videos and watch these videos. Okay, These are tutorials step-by-step -step on all the relevant topics of being a, a successful affiliate or member in Savion. Um, including this back office training here, but you've got uh, different webinars. There's videos on cashback redemption. We are in the process of updating many of those videos right now uh, as uh, some of the things have been updated and changed in our back office. So um, this will always be in, a, in progress. It will always be uh, uh, updating continuously as things change and update with our, our websites, with our policies, with our uh, new products, you know, there's always stuff in a state of growth and change. So just understand um, sometimes some of those videos may be in the process of being updated and you might see a little bit of old information. Don't be alarmed. Just know and you can even let us know just in case we didn't see it or catch it. We appreciate your feedback, but uh, we are striving always to stay on top of keeping these uh, pieces of information up to date. Next is support. Uh, as a uh, member of Savion, you can access support. Uh, a couple different ways. Your first line of support is to go to your upline sponsor and check with them first with any questions. There is a full FAQ listed back here. A lot of great information back there. Make sure that you go through all these FAQs first to get answers to your questions and to your upline before you uh, uh, set out to contact company support with your issue or question. And uh, you can do that by uh, contacting our support number, uh, which is listed on the bottom of that screen. They operate Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at our Marketing Support Center in Los Angeles, California. Next, we have our events area. This is where you can see any impending events that are happening on a quarterly basis. Savion has events happening all the time. Um, on a regular basis, a corporate, uh, we just had our global launch in June. We had our U.S. launch in February in Vegas, and now we've got our one-year anniversary party coming up, as you can see, in October. A uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday event in Las Vegas once again, and you can even go ahead and book yourself for that right now. Get your tickets purchased and get yourself to that event. That's going to be a fantastic opportunity uh, for people to learn all about Savia, meet all the corporate teams, see all the big leaders. Uh, learn from them. They do training. Just a great opportunity. It's at Bally's here in October, our one-year party coming up really fast. Really excited about that. And finally here, the update section here. This is where you'll see, again, announcements, promotions, different things. You'll see it right when you join the back office, come in. But you can also go specifically to it if you like. And uh, there's always uh, different banners and things of things that are coming up that week, that month. Uh, any other announcements that are really important, just scroll through there and keep yourself up to date. And, of course, uh, this is promoting the Hour of Power that we do Sunday through Thursday. Kevin Marino, our master affiliate, does the leadership training. 
I do our webinar schedule Monday and Wednesday night we do our map presentations Tuesday nights we do the GTM global travel membership and Monday and Thursday we do our RSM presentations so uh, we split up the week five nights with the different products and there's a lot of great opportunity there to bring guests to learn more about Savion and that brings us to the end of our tour here the back office uh, when you're finished uh, in your back office you always click the log out button and that will bring you out of the members back office area thank you for watching this uh, video on the Savion back office we encourage you to watch all the training videos in the back office that help you better understand everything you need to know to operate and be successful with your cashback shopping and affiliate opportunity with Savion welcome aboard we're excited to have you with us we look forward to meeting you in person at our next big conference or live event for Savion